Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we got a video here. Shout out to JR Wisdom, um, where this young lady here on screen has some interesting things to say about single motherhood. And I just want y'all to hear what she's saying, and then we're going to cook. So without any further ado, here we go. Mom for all of two years, and I have to say, I hate it here. I don't hate being a mom. I don't hate having kids, but I hate the fact that I only had two options. Either stay in an unhealthy, dysfunctional relationship or do it all on my own. And see, when I was a stay-at-home mom, I did the cooking, the cleaning. I was a primary person in charge of taking care of the children. And here I thought that that was a totally different category than being a working mom. As a working mom, I'm literally still doing all of the same stay-at-home mom shit, just on a different schedule. But now with the added mental stress load of how do I pay every bill by myself? And that's not even the part that frustrates me. The kicker is that this is culturally normal and even embrace that if you're a single mom, you're just gonna struggle and that's it. Like I could be on the brink of a mental breakdown, literally underwater telling people like, I do not know how to make this better. And someone will ask me, what's wrong? Are you okay? No, I'm not. And the response is, well, you know, it's hard out here for everybody. And I get it. We all have our challenges. We're all going through our own struggles. But why is it culturally normal for this to be the only other option? Like at this point, I'm about to start dating other moms to see who wants to co-mother together. Because the fact that we're all just isolated, but going through the same exact challenges at the same time just feels ridiculous. A few things. This is an interesting topic. So she said a couple of things and it, and it always gets me when these women can get on social media and say all of these things. And then those things that they say, never give them pause, stop and think about the different choices that they've made thus far up to this point. Now here she says that she's been a single mother for about two years. So her, so her child is young. Okay. And then she avoids accountability by saying that she only had two choices to either remain in a, an unhealthy relationship or do it on her own. She forgets about the other choices that she had. She forgets about not getting pregnant in the first place. She forgets about not being in a bad relationship in the first place. She forgets about the fact that she didn't have to have a child. She didn't have to be pregnant. She didn't have to do any of these things. She forgets about the part where she should have been married before having a child. Now then she, as she's talking, she says, I thought being a stay at home mom was different from being a working mom, which tells us that the man that she was with actually had her in a situation, even outside of marriage, because she doesn't say she was married, where she didn't have to work and all that she had to do was take care of the children and he paid the bills. Then some mysterious thing happened where he turned into this toxic monster that she had to leave. And then she leaves only to find then now you got to do both things. Now you got to do all the working and paying all the bills and you still got to be the mom. Okay. Now we always get a quarter of a story. We don't know where he is or, or the circumstances of their breakup. But all of that is actually immaterial to the fact that she doesn't take any accountability at all for any of the choices that she has made. Then she goes on to say about how it's culturally acceptable, this single motherhood and struggling as a single mom. But who made that 
culturally acceptable, ma'am. Who did that? Did, did men make that culturally acceptable or did women advocate to be single mothers, particularly black women, advocated for being single moms, wanted to be single moms, strive to be single moms. They can have men who are more than willing to co-parent with them and be fathers in the lives of their children. And they will do anything and everything within their power to prevent a man from being a father and from being present in his child's life, regardless of whether or not he and the mother are in a romantic relationship or not. So if it's culturally acceptable, then you need to speak to your sister in that you are now talking about you need to co-mother with. Maybe y'all should co-mother together. Maybe you should. Maybe that's not such a bad idea because set each other up like you set the men up. Go get another woman and set her up to adopt your kids and then take her to court and get all of her stuff and put her on child support. Like do unto y'all what y'all do unto the men. Like maybe that's not that bad of an idea. Keep that rhetoric and keep the boneyard and boneyard antics to yourselves. And and we're and we'll all sit by the campfire to watch the boneyard uh, uh, implode in on itself with y'all in it. And then we can all be free of the hyena clan and all of your shenanigans. Maybe not such a bad idea. Matter of fact, I might advocate all you hyenas to do that. Because at this point, the way y'all treat everybody else, including the children that you have, unacceptable, unacceptable. And maybe if you start treating each other that way and being uh, 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 hell on wheels, in each other's lives, maybe some of you'll wake up. Maybe you'll wake up to what you do and how you move. No self-reflection at all. That's what kills me. How are you able to say all that you just said without any accountability and without any self-reflection? It's everybody else's fault. It's the culture's fault. It's the society's fault. It's the father's fault. Everybody's fault but yours. Anyway, jump down into the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, Sister Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.